You've played with um, a lot of amazing players. I mean, obviously, even throughout the later years of your career, uh, when you're on certain rosters, like back-to-back MVP Steve Nash, Mello, who's, who, in your opinion, would be the best player you played with or just your best teammate you had? Man, I had a lot of cool teammates, bro. Um, I had a lot of fun, right? I, I was always invite my teammates out to dinner, um, to gatherings, to wine tasting. I mean, yeah, you did have a nightclub. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I was I was inviting all my guys out to hang out because I think the best thing about it was is to build team camaraderie. For sure. Because I'm on the court, I'm tell, I'm the leader of the team, and I'm telling my guys, you got to do this, you got to do that. It's like after you know demanding so much, they're gonna be like, man, I'm, I can't, you know, I can't take, I can't take this. But if we go out, we have a good time. You see, it's all coming from a good place. And now when I demand my teammates to do something, it's not reprimanding. They know I'm they're, doing they're, You they guys know, are friends right, first. They're my yeah. guys. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, and so I think for us in Phoenix, the team we had with Nash, Sean, Joe Johnson. Oh, I'm, we're going to get to that team, but yeah, continue. But I'm saying those guys yeah. will come out and we'll hang out. Like mm-hmm. Nash would come out and hang out in the, in the clubs with us. Who would have thought? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Oh, Nash was yeah. in there, right? Yeah. <laughs> he, with the, he with the guys. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, and so that team camaraderie helped. So I would say Steve Nash is probably my favorite teammate that I played with, not only as an unselfish player, and he played with a certain type of passion for the game, but I enjoyed playing with Steve. Your guys' two-man game, the lob man, listen, and I feel like somehow Nash was like a decade before his time. Because I keep I think about like the the, the three point era of the game, and how good Nash is as a shooter. Like how much he might have averaged if the the game was you know the way it is. Yeah, now. you shoot more threes now. I mean, we we let the league in three point shooting. I think shooting what twelve threes a game. Yep. And now, what now is you that got now? Players shooting that would 12 probably be, be last place in yeah, the league. Yeah. yeah. And we led the league in three point percent uh, shooting and percentages during that stretch. So we started this whole wave of now three point shooters, right? We started the whole thing. For sure. Is it is there something about the seven seconds or less thing that you feel like gets a bad rep because you know, we always hear Dan Tony wasn't like he didn't coach a lot of defense, right? Yeah. Like and, and I mean, I've, I've talked to other players who've said that, like Baron Davis. Yeah, um, I mean, you know, we, But <laughs> it, it obviously works to the point where the Suns were the number one seed, the number two seed, like very, like it, you know, caught a couple of a tough breaks in the playoffs. But like, you know, I feel like that brand of basketball somehow, like when you talk to basketball nerds, they're like, "Yeah, but you'll never win a ring with that." But I, I you well, know, I, well, I mean, the thing is, we could have won a ring for sure. Right, we had a couple, couple breaks. A shitty owner. Yeah, you know, we had you had a couple breaks, a couple bad um, um, releases. Right, certain players we could have signed Joe for like fifty something million. Oh, I was like, and then he went to go sign for a hundred and something million and, get, and become a six-time All-Star. Crazy. Like we could have had him on our squad for a long Crazy. time. Crazy! Oh, I'm um, heartbreak, heartbreak. the 2010 team, eight, or eight or nine team, we lost against the Lakers in the Western Finals. That was 2010. 2010. Robin Lopez was starting center. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. And yeah. I had him playing well. He's playing alongside yes, of me. He was. Yeah. And then and then Ron Artest decided he wanted to start making threes. Right. And then we go and not and not bring me back to 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 for the following year. And we we're right there at the Western Finals. So we had chances to win with that style, right? Um, but oh, well, that was that was Gentry though. That was Gentry. That, that was, was Gentry. Alvin Gentry. Who Gentry was the coach. had more of a defensive mind. I was going to say presence. like that season. Somehow we forget about it, but that was the closest you guys got to the finals, and Marion was not on that team. Yeah, it's true. It was very. It was like, and that was like a very underrated Grant Hill season. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Robin Lopez underrated season from yeah, the big Channing guy. Yeah, Channing Fry stepped up big for Channing us. Fry, Jay Rich, stretch four, stretch five, which is now the game. Is now the game, and we were so close, and the Lakers ripped our hearts out. But like that season, your final season, like it would have been crazy to get a ring, man. Like it was, yeah. it was right there. Yeah, for sure. 